Hello everyone, my name is Excessive, and today we are back on Hypixel Skyblock. So in today's video, we're going to be doing another money-making test for one hour. And the method that we're going to try today is geared towards early game players because, well, we are kind of an early game player. Um, but before we hop into what exactly the strategy is, time to reveal who won last video's giveaway. Let's open that up real quick. Here we go. Good luck to everyone, and let's see who wins the 10 million coins. Yeet Dragon. There we go. Also, it's the <laughs> comment is about... Oh, let's see. Did he use his... He didn't type in his IGN. So that is very unfortunate. So Yeet Dragon, unfortunately, your comment was only roasting me on the math, which is well-deserved, I will say. Um, but you did not give me an IGN, so we cannot choose you as a winner. I apologize. We're going to pick another winner, and let's see who wins. XD Justin. There we go. We do have an IGN, so we're all good. Congratulations to XD Justin. Hope those 10 million coins can help you out. If you do not win, do not worry. We will be doing another 10 million coin giveaway in this video. As always, to enter, you have to comment your IGN, which is the most important, as well as like the video and subscribe to the channel. And best of luck to everyone in the next giveaway. Now let's hop into the video. First, we're going to claim our free cake. There we go. Nice. So in the last video, we decided to run 50 floor two runs, and that ended up getting us a lot of combat XP. And thanks to that, we managed to hit combat level 22, or actually even 23 right now. And combat level 22 unlocks a new area for us, which I've never been able to farm at, and we're going to see how good it is. Here we go. And in the end island, you drop down to the very center, go through the dragon doorway. Looks like they actually just did a dragon. At the bottom of these staircases, there's a little entryway here. And these portals take you to the Zealot Bruiser hideout. You have to be level 22 combat in order to get in. Besides that, that's pretty much the only requirement. As you can see, these guys have a lot more health than the Zealots do. That's because they also have a higher chance of dropping summoning eyes. While normal Zealots have a 420 chance of dropping a summoning eye, these guys only have 380. So it's not a huge difference, but it is, you know, higher odds. So you are bound to get more summoning eyes per hour. The only downside is that you need to have a lot more damage in order to one tap them. But just like in the treasure hoarding uh, video I made, that we're going to be using the Aurora Staff because it is super easy to get high damage with this weapon. So even with just Ender Armor reforged to Wise, we can still one tap them. There we go, 90,000. We do have our reforge set to sighted. You really don't even need that. Yeah, so our sighted um, accessory bag is giving us an extra 300 intelligence. You really don't need it. As you can see, we're definitely overkilling. We don't even have a pet that gives us intelligence either. Well, I guess it gives us some. I think we're running a griffin pet. And griffin really doesn't give that many stats. We get eight intelligence from it. Um, you can run any pet really, it doesn't matter. If you are lacking damage, you could try using um, a magic pet like a sheep or something, but you really don't need it. The spawn rate is insane as you can see. Like even if you have to compete with other people, it is just so much easier to chain kills as we missed that. In addition to them having higher odds, since we have scavenger on our Aurora stuff, specifically scavenger four, these guys are way higher level. These are level 100. And so because of that, you get a lot more scavenger gold on kill, which really does add up, especially since you'll be getting combos with your wolf pup or grandma wolf pup that you'll easily start getting like over 200 coins per kill. And trust me, that adds up very quickly when you're killing like one every other second. And so we're going to be farming here for exactly one hour and we're going to tally up all of our drops and see how much money we make in one hour. Okay, let the montage begin.
There's our first one. Nice. Ooh, this special is out at number two. Nice. Right now, we are on track to get one every 10 minutes. And if we can keep that up, we should make a lot of money. Special Zealot number three, and wow, that one was pretty quick. And that is summoning guy number four. If we can get four more in the second half, that would be amazing. Let's see if we can get just as lucky. There are summoning guy number five. Zilla number six, let's go. And there we go. We managed to get one last zealot before the end of the timer. I mean, I guess we still have a chance to get one more. But I think that was number seven. Oh, and we actually managed to get one more for the last second. Nice. That is the end of the run. Time to go back and tally up the loot and see how much money we made in the one hour. So in total, we were able to get eight summoning eyes, which I do think is probably slightly lucky, especially towards the end there when we got two of them back to back in the last few minutes. I would say you could probably average six to seven with like being average. If you get unlucky, probably like five. We got in total 10 absolute ender pearls. We just had those being condensed since it was flooding up the the inventory. We also got four crystal fragments, 13 enchanted endstone, seven enchanted obsidian, and three enchanted eyes of ender. We're going to go list all these on the bazaar and see how much we made. Looks like we can sell these for about 600,000 per, which is pretty good. We'll put those up, see how long it takes. If those do sell, that's 4.7 million, which is already insane. And that was quick. <laughs> Let's go claim them. So already, we're at 5.2 million, including the... We got about half a mil just from Scavenger and the natural coin drops. So we're already at over 5 million per hour. The rest we can actually just insta-sell, since it's not really worth going out of our way. Worth 178,000, not much. And then we're going to sell these four crystal frags on the auction house real quick. Let's see how much they're going for. It looks like they're going for about 70 to 80,000. We're just going to list them for 80,000 so that they sell faster. After selling the four crystal fragments for 79,000 each, we have a grand total of 5.7 million, which is by far our best money making method yet. Um, I would say probably expect to get about 1 million plus or minus 5 mil. I know we got us slightly lucky, that's why I'm including the extra 700,000. I would say probably on average you would get around 5 million per hour, which is really insane considering you really don't need much to farm these. The only big requirement is hitting combat 22, but to get there you can just farm regular zealots, which have a similar drop chance and would make a similar amount of money. Uh, but yeah. That's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It helps out a ton. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.